Welcome to the beautiful do at Love Gun. We are finally at Love Gun. We never thought we'd make it, but here we are. They couldn't hold us back. Headlining. Not next magazine. Headlining at Love Gun. Not threats. Here we are on Broadway. Just, <laughs> just feet from the stage. Isn't it grand? And with the bright lights of the sun shining on us. Think I'll go for a walk outside down. Jeremy Renner in his uh, new Hawkeye costume for the next Captain America movie because I like it because it's very fetishy and clubby and when I was looking at it I was thinking I'd like to wear that outfit and if I did wear it what club would I wear it to? So I, the question was that I asked Michael was would I wear it to On Top, to Synthesize, to Horse Meat Disco or to Viva? Well, actually, you left out Viva. <laughs> right. I added Viva. Because I think Viva is the obvious choice. I've never been to horse meat disco. So, um, but, it's um, a bunch of, you know, sweaty A guys. bunch of horse meat disco. <laughs> I think Synthesize would be an appropriate place, too, because that's a very techno, uh, kind of industrial type of party. So the costume really works with that type of music. Yeah, and it's, it's a very kind of macho-like um, you know, it's got fake muscles and all that kind of stuff in it. So, you know, that, that's why it, I, it's really a, a rock kind of thing. But um, for a contemporary club, I would say Viva. It's the kind of costume that a guy who wants to dress up can dress up in without feeling that he's really overly gay, although it really right. is gay. To it's me. very gay, yeah. <laughs> it's very gay, but it's but like, like in those that types of guys. New Jersey, seem yeah, that New gay. Jersey metrosexual kind of guy, they would think that that's really macho. Right. You know? which is the paradox, that's like the village people paradox. So people can't stop asking us about Nelson Sullivan, the videographer from the 80s and 90s, who left a legacy of hours of uh, videos of and with good parties. He's, you know, he's from the East Village. He's really the unsung hero, you know? Yeah, if only more people had been doing that. Yes, I mean, well, one there was one person, and we'd like to uh, make a appeal to him right now, or her. Scott and Rachel? Yeah, there was, okay, there were, there were three people doing it. But there was one person doing it who was on salary, actually, at Disco 2000. I paid him $100 a night, and his job was to go out and videotape everything. Because all of our friends were either too fucked up or, you know, too fucked we up. We were busy. Cool. Yeah, too busy to do this. So uh, we thought we'd pay somebody. So I paid him $100 a night, and I remember him taking home the videos every night and not really thinking anything of it. He was like, oh, you know, I just want to make sure they're safe and, you know, nothing ever happens to them. And, I, well, I guess he made sure nothing ever happened to them. Right, because, because nothing ever because happened. nothing ever happened to them. But, well, um, we'd like something to happen to those videos. We would right. like them since we, you paid for them. But technically, they're yours. Technically, they're mine. Well, technically, they're Peter Gation's probably, but... Uh, but I'm sure he would want you to have he would them. Want, he would, Peter would want nothing more than for me to have those videos. Yeah. Um, and so his living and wish. so let's keep this a secret between you and me. We won't uh, tell that. We don't tell him either because we don't want to check out this. We don't want to bother him. Really check out that. this poster from Barcelona, which is uh, has a picture of Michael on it, and it's promoting uh, the debut of Nelson Sullivan's videos in Barcelona. So I'm sure Nelson will be thrilled. He would, tickle. He would be dancing his grave right now, not turning over, mind you, but dancing because. Um, it's exactly. not tripping. This, this, is, is this is exactly what he wanted. He always wanted to be world famous and you know world renowned for his photographs. And, um, and here he is. You know, um, I would do anything to be at that world, uh, Barcelona event. Yeah, they offered me two plane tickets. Any? What do we just want to know? We're not there yet. Well, I want to know what they want to know. Find out after this Alright. And now a word from our sponsor. Welcome back to the pew. Welcome back to the view. Welcome back Dive to the view. Love Gun. Where we are going to just show steps you away from the stage. Yes. I mean They can't we, keep us from that they, stage. Love Gun said we couldn't we would never be here and here we are at Love Gun. We proved them wrong. Proved them wrong. We yep, proved again. all of our detractors wrong. And we're fabulous to it. Yeah. Never been happier. 
<laughs> Check out this photograph of uh, Pee Wee Herman, Mark Allman, and well, no, it's not a photograph. It's um, if if uh, Pee Wee Herman, it's a mashup. Well, it's a if our genetic engineer. Yeah, if Pee Wee Herman and Bat Boy had a love child, it would be Mark Allman. Something I'm in love with. Oh, so it would be Pee Wee Herman and Bat Boy having sex, and then it would be Mark Allman who would be the baby. Because I would have thought Mark Allman and Pee Wee Herman would have had that. No, that's ridiculous. Because isn't Bat Boy younger than Mark Allman? Bat Boy is like a vampire. I mean, he's a boy. Mark Allman, but he's a boy far, vampire. Oh, because oh, okay. So he's actually much far, much older. Far from it. He's much much older than Mark. Yes, than he's, a he's a vampire. He's a Bat Boy. Yes, he's been alive centuries. Yes. Alright, well now it makes sense. Yeah. Bitch is one of them. Yeah, it's too loud. Bitch is a lot of No. Dan K. Famous wants to know. I like that name. Do you think that's a stage name? Uh. I'm not sure. Dan K. Famous. He wants to know how tall you are and how tall I am. Well, that's a really interesting And how question. tall James St. James is. That's a very interesting question. I'm 5'8. James is five seven and a half. And um, are you taller than James? Oh, really? Yeah. I'm almost six one. Ernie's a tall one. He's a spring bean. Yes, tall. And slim. And slim. Everybody's a jealous of Ernie. Yeah, I'm the skinny bitch. So how much do you weigh? I weigh 155 pounds. I weigh about 167. Okay, so so. Um, Oh, so that's it for today. Now you know everything about us. Bye. Go steal our identities. Bye.